It's brilliant. You look like a little princess. Oh, yeah, lovely. Victoria, why don't you go up to your room and I'll come upstairs in a minute and help you put it away. Hey, will you be a bridesmaid at my wedding when I get married? Yeah. You could have shown a bit more enthusiasm, Jack. What am I supposed to do, dance a jig? No, no, just make a fuss of her. Victoria knows how proud I am of her. Don't have to go over the top. OK, if you say so. I'm going to see to Victoria and then I think I'll pop over and see Angie. Yeah, all right. Jack, is Sarah OK? Yeah, why? I don't know. She just seems a bit down, that's all. She's fine. If you've come here to tell me I'm making a... We've got a visitor. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, this is obviously a bad time. Oi, get off. There's loads. Join us. Uh, oh, no, thanks. I've already eaten. Well, have a glass of wine, then. Oi, stop it. I've told you. I just fancied a little nibble. <laughs> Behave. I love her when she's bossy. <laughs> Listen to it. I bet Jack doesn't grope you when you're cooking. Uh, no, no, he doesn't. It's good to see you. You don't have to go, you know. I better. I don't want to be too late. Jack will be wondering where you've got to, will he? Oh, see you, Sean. See you, Sarah. I must be joking. Half the time he doesn't even notice I'm there. You don't want to hear about that, though. That's OK. Look, it doesn't take a genius to work out that you're not too happy at the moment. I thought things would be better when I got back. Both had a bit of breathing space, but... if anything, it seems to have got worse. And I miss Robert and Andy. The, the place feels like a morgue. Oh, I'm moaning on again. I don't know why you put up with me, Angie. I'm sorry. Don't keep apologising. Look, I'll tell you what. Have a look in your diary and find a free date. I think a major shopping expedition's called for. Oh. A bit of retail therapy. <sighs> OK, that sounds good to me.